Hey guys, it's me, Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my crew members who I call my subbies, and welcome if you are watching me for the first time. Just to reintroduce myself, I'm Desiree Marie, and I do mostly lock videos. I've been locked for about two years now, and I show you guys my personal journey from baby locks to starter <laughs> twist to how I'm doing right now. I show you guys the ins, the outs, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything from washing to styling and maintaining my hair. So if you're interested in seeing what a genuine lock journey looks like from my vantage point, definitely do hit the subscribe button because it's free, it's fun, and I upload almost every day something fun and fresh and new for you each and every, almost each and every day and I also do a lot of vlogs just so that you guys can you know get to know me on a personal level but anyway guys welcome to yet another video today I'm going to do a little bit of a Q&A some things that I have seen a lot of questions that I have seen people ask about locks I've just compiled most of them here on this video so that we can tackle them if you have any questions Hopefully this video will answer some of your questions and if you have any answers to some of these questions definitely do share your opinions down below because we all are here to learn from one another myself included because I don't know all there is to know about locks but I do have a little bit of experience but I'm always willing and open to learn so yes let this be an interactive video where we all share and talk and all that cool stuff all right so let's get on to the questions. A lot of the times we need some guidance and we may not know what to do, what not to do to our hair. So here we go. Okay, so the first question, how did you make your dreads clean? Okay, so cleaning locks is very simple and easy. A lot of people have the notion that locks are dirty and that is absolutely wrong. <laughs> I feel like that's something that needs to be left back in yesteryears. Locks are not dirty. Not all locks are dirty. Um, so in order to lock your hair, you, should, you certainly don't need dirty hair. Hair can lock when it's clean. In order to clean your hair, what you do is find a good shampoo that works for your hair type. I highly recommend a conditioning shampoo that not only washes your hair and takes out all of the dirt and build up that you may have in your hair as a result of just being outside or doing whatever you do throughout the week um, it not only washes your hair and cleanses it but it also puts back in moisture by adding that conditioning element so I highly recommend con a conditioning shampoo one that I use a lot is the bro shampoo which also includes the ingredient beer um, but Find what shampoo works for you. A lot of people use Dr. Bronner's and um, I, I recommend that as well but if you use that I highly recommend that you dilute it with water because it could be very much for your hair. I've heard a lot of stories where people have um, have experienced buildup because of their failure to dilute the shampoo. But try a shampoo that works for you. Um, try to stay away from the drying shampoos that actually strip your hair of all the oils and don't add anything back. Yeah, washing locks don't does not have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be the wor you know the most crazy you know episode ever is very simple I have a whole video where I show you how I wash my hair as I invite you guys into the shower um, but yeah washing your hair in sections helps so if you have a lot of locks sectioning your hair before washing it really does help because it helps you to apply the shampoo to where it matters most which is the scalp and you're able to really get in you know and shampoo and really cleanse your hair all over your head um and equal you know equally all over your head so yeah check out my video and if anyone else has any comments down below what shampoos you love to use let us know let us know <laughs> okay so someone else asked my dreads are flat how can i fix them i have a few locks that are flat as well and it might be the cause of many things. Um, for me, I think it might be some of the styles that I used to do in my hair and also the way I sleep on my head um, at night. 
there's different reasons why your locks can get flat but in order to fix them I would you know suggest that you palm roll it lightly because palm rolling which is you know rolling your hair with the with your palms um, when you lightly palm roll your hair you actually train the lock to grow in a certain in a certain shape so if you want it to be a nice cylinder shape I would highly suggest that you palm roll every once in a while um, palm rolling too much you should not do I don't recommend that but try to palm roll your hair um, along the length of the lock and hopefully within you know with time your lock starts to become trained in how to grow and it takes on the shape of a circular cylinder shape you know the shape that you promote when you're palm rolling so um that could help uh flat locks what else can you do for flat locks i think that's pretty much all i've got so if anyone else has any suggestions definitely let us know down below as far as how to fix a flat lock um yeah i have flat locks and I've tried the, the palm rolling but at this point I think my locks have been flat for a long time so right now palm rolling for me is not really working um, I've just come to accept them the way that they are and um, from this time forward I I make sure to um, retwist and just continue retwisting so that the new cylinder shape that comes in as I'm retwisting the roots and as it's growing out that's the new shape of the lock um, I feel like flat locks as well flat locks is a result of also going too long between retwists so when you freeform your hair and you let it be and you're not retwisting sometimes that can do um, more harm than good because you're leaving your roots alone and in the meantime your roots are taking the shape of just it being flat you know it's not it's not trained it's not trained to be a cylinder it's actually just sitting on top of your head um so that might contribute to flat locks so check out why your hair might be flat um and try to palm roll but if not i would suggest just staying on top of your new growth as it grows just continue on that and hopefully as your hair grows it takes on a different shape you know what I'm saying <laughs> how long does it take for my hair to lock this is a question that so many people ask and so many get, people get frustrated because of time you know they're looking at their locks and saying oh my gosh it's been this time that time and my hair is not locking everyone's hair is different everyone's hair does different things um, for me personally it took my hair possibly about four months in order to actually look like a lock I started my hair with two strand twists so that might also be the reason why it locked a little bit faster than say someone that started with braids um, but my hair took maybe about four months to start looking like it it was starting to lock up um, and that's because I did a lot of washing um, I sprayed my hair a lot and when you add water into your hair what it does is it helps your hair to continue to lock it helps your hair to, to continue to um, coil up you know if you notice when you were loose natural um, your hair would coil up and shrink whenever you would wet it the same is true for locks but with locks it's actually coiling and shriveling up from the inside out so um yeah if you want to lock your hair faster wet your hair don't be afraid of water wash it um but take time with your hair because it may take a little bit longer to lock it may not take longer you know just be patient with the process and your hair will definitely lock I mean if you let your hair stay in two strand twists long enough or comb coils or whatever method you started your hair with it will lock it will lock naturally okay another question that I see here is how short should my hair be in order to lock it your hair could be any length really you can start with half an inch of hair and 
um, it will lock. You really don't have to grow your hair to a long length in order to lock it. So you can start with a half an inch. People start their hair with different methods. Um, I see a lot of guys do like the sponge method to kind of tease their hair in order to um, make it look like a lock. You can start your hair that way with just simply half an inch of hair. Um, it does not take a long length. You really don't have to wait a long time in order to start locks. You can start now. <laughs> um, of course, you can't start, say, on a bald head or a buzz, um, a buzz haircut, but half an inch will do. Will sports or sweating affect my locks? Sports and sweating and locks. Okay, so first, sports. Sports, I feel like, is it is beneficial to locks and guys list your comments down below if you have anything to add to this but I feel like sports is I feel like involving yourself in sports really helps your hair because you're getting active you're moving um, in a previous video I talked about how my hair has been able to grow because I actually got moving and active and I'm moving around now my blood is circulating and you know my scalp the the the, the blood circulation in my scalp is moving so it's producing and promoting hair growth sports is great I feel like it's great for your hair um, of course while you're playing sports you want to make sure to cover your hair so that you don't um, you know you're not at risk of getting buildup from say dirt or dust in the air but sports in itself I feel like is good because it gets you moving it gets you active it gets your heart pumping it gets your body um, completely involved and your scalp is nourished in the meantime sweating however can affect your locks negatively um, sweating and just letting your hair stay in that same funk can actually produce mold <laughs> and that's a word that a lot of us hate we cringe at when we hear it but it's true mold grows from wet environments that just remain wet and go unclean pretty much so if you are involved in sports and you're looking for a way to keep your hair clean I would highly suggest that you you know make a nice little mixture of tea tree oil and your favorite carrier oil and put that in your scalp you know let it get through your scalp put it in an applicator bottle and distribute it throughout your scalp. Tea tree oil has a way of um, cleansing the scalp. It has antibacterial and antifungal agents. So it's like a natural cleanser. Um, you can also use, um, oh, what's that other thing? It's Oh, uh, witch hazel. <laughs> a lot of people talk about using witch hazel, putting it on a little cotton swab and just uh, applying it throughout your scalp that also helps because witch hazel is also an astringent and it helps to cleanse so you're actually cleansing your scalp without washing it by applying the uh, witch hazel just be careful when you apply it um, another method is to simply wash your hair um, you know after an intense workout or involving yourself in sports um, and while you're involving yourself in sports, you want to cover your head. You also may want to um, put your hair in sections so that your scalp can breathe. So it's not stifled underneath your locks. Um, this is a great way to, you know, just air out your scalp and allow the, 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 the scalp to breathe. You know, if you were to sweat, the sweat would just evaporate because your scalp is open and it's it, it, is, uh, it is exposed to the natural environment. So those are some tips. If you guys have any more tips, definitely let us know down below. Um, and yeah. Okay. How can I get my locks to seal at the ends? Well, sealing at the ends is normally what your hair does naturally. So for me, I have talked about how my hair has... I've seen a lot of this and people experience that as well um, other people here that I follow um, where they see balls at the end of their hair so say you have a lock right and the lock is um, the lock is holding on to like a ball of hair that is your hair's natural way of 
sealing the ends of, of producing a blunt end. Um, that's your hair's strange way of creating a, um, a blunted end. Like this lock right here, you see there is a ball at the end. Um, that's my hair's way of <laughs> of, of, of sealing at the ends so when you allow your hair to do that it will naturally seal sometimes it really doesn't even make sense to hold on to these balls because sometimes your hair might you know it might be holding on to like one two strands and you know it really makes no sense but your hair will naturally seal and if it doesn't that's okay because a lot of people also have locks that are curly at the ends. I find it very cute. I have a few locks that are curly at the like most of my locks are curly at the end because um they have not sealed completely. Like this one right here is not sealed at the end. Um and many others of on my head are not sealed. You can embrace it or you can do what other people do as well. Other people I see here on YouTube do is they take a crochet needle and they just lightly back comb the ends. And in that way you create a blunted end. Um, if you are very, you know, if you are really into blunted ends that look sealed, Go right ahead and try that out. Just be careful, you know, but that's a, a way to blunt your ends if you're not comfortable with just leaving it alone. Um, but if you're not able to do that, definitely do seek out a loctician professional. It doesn't hurt to try to get a professional to do it for you. Um, yeah. Can you dye or bleach dreads? Well, <laughs> if you don't know, I have recently colored my hair. I don't like to say the word dye, like, my hair hasn't died. I have colored my hair black and I will give a extended um, update as to how my hair is doing. But in short, um, you can dye and color your hair. It, you know, you just have to be careful because when you go lighter, obviously you're, use, you're including ammonia in that dye. So if you're dyeing your hair blonde, your hair dye will have the ingredient ammonia and ammonia is very very heavy and very just damaging to your hair I've heard a lot of stories about how you know people have dyed their hair and their hair feels different and it doesn't do the same things that it used to um, you know you you definitely want to do your research if you are going to dye your hair make sure that your hair is at a healthy um, you know it, it's healthy that it's healthy hair that you're not just dyeing it on dry damaged hair but that your hair is actually maintained this far um just be careful <laughs> you know but i will give a, a a whole update as to how my hair is doing since i dyed my hair black if you don't know my hair was actually a very ashy brown color and i recently dyed it to black so i will give my update as to how that's working out for me um but yeah anybody else got any answers definitely let us know down below if you have a different hair color let us know what color your hair is how that's going for you as well um what is build up girl build up girl, we can talk about build up all day here because if you guys have been following me you know that pretty much i can only give my my point of view and my point of view with build like i've gone through the the, the hassle with build up here's actually not to side note but here is a ball that is at the end of my hair and I don't I don't feel like saving it because it doesn't make sense build up is the totality of all that you've been exposed to so build up could be dirt in your hair that is lodged into your lock build up can be dust build up build up can be so many different things um, that end up inside of your hair including the in, the products that you use in your hair so if you use heavy conditioners if you use um shampoos that are very heavy and not diluted if you use a whole lot of oils and different things in your hair you are at risk of getting buildup because it actually stays lodged into your locks locks are just like a spider web you know whatever you put in it 
it's it, it will stay in there if you're not careful to wash it out properly and anything from the environment it's just ready and just willing to accept it and and keep it and after a while you realize wait I have stuff inside my hair I didn't even know I have it it's because build up build up from the environment you can be in a dusty environment and build up can be happening without you even knowing um, build up is pretty much your hair accepting dirt residue anything from the environment even lint from your cotton t-shirts or uh, things that you wear throughout the week that's build up and I have a video where I talk about how to wash your hair from build up and also how to kind of avoid it um, so if you did not see that definitely do check it out but that's it for now guys that is it for part one I'm gonna come back with a part two of frequently asked questions for all of you that are looking for solutions to your lock problems definitely do um, hit us up down in the comments below comment and interact um, if you have any like I said if you have any added comments to the questions that we have received definitely do share it down below because we all are willing and open to learning myself included because I am not an expert <laughs> um, but yeah thank you for watching if you're not subscribed definitely do hit the subscribe button so that you can get a fresh new video almost every single day and so that you can interact with a community of lockers who are interested in healthy growing hair from the inside out so yeah guys it's been a pleasure thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next video part two so stay tuned for part two all right <laughs> later bye